farmers that say that they have had to shoot Exmoor ponies because of delays getting them registered with the Breed Society. Without pedigree passports, they say the ponies can be hard to sell. It's taking so long they're becoming too expensive to keep. Ben McGrell reports. It's a site synonymous with this ancient landscape, but could it one day disappear? Ponies like these were recorded on Exmoor in the Doomsday Book, but it's a modern-day record of them causing controversy. And this group is at risk. Next week, there's a lorry coming, and they're going to be on it, one way or the other. To be sold or killed, then? One way or the other, they've got to go. Most Exmoor ponies are owned by farmers like the Floyds, but they say getting these documents has become so hard, they're having to put ponies down because without them they're hard to sell and expensive to keep. The passports come after an inspection to make sure they are pure bred. The Exmoor Pony Society told me 95% of the passports are issued within three to four weeks, but the Floyds dispute that. We keep a significant number of ruby red Devons, and if I ring up the society today for paperwork, it will be here tomorrow or emailed. But not the not the Exmoor Pony Society. Three months later, still waiting. You know the whole spectacle of gathering in ponies. Once these things are gone, just like little shows on Exmoor. Once they're gone, they will never come back again. The other thing I like doing it, but I don't think Tom, my youngest son, he isn't so keen anymore. He's he likes to see something at the end of it. With this, it's nothing. It's just a bill. Emotions are running high on the moor. Hello, hello, Copas. Dawn has made a career of understanding the Exmoor Pony. She says there are problems with the registration system and has called for changes. There's a window of opportunity where the foals really need to find good homes when, when they're cute foals you know, and when they're easier to tame, when they come off the moor. So we really need um, registration to be sorted out within a four-week period. They're an incredibly special and very ancient native hill pony breed. There's not many of them, and, and we really do need to protect them. They're a national treasure. Well, set up nearly 100 years ago, the Exmoor Pony Society is responsible for issuing the passports. It is a matter of making sure that the database that is held by the laboratories on behalf of the Exmoor Pony Society and indeed the owners is as accurate and up-to-date as possible. And it's the breakdown in the DNA sampling um, and matching on the database that causes these delays. It's thought there are fewer than 500 Exmoor ponies in the UK. It's an endangered species. Nigel Floyd's family has farmed them for generations. Whether that continues with his descendants remains to be seen. Ben McGrell, ITV News, Exmoor. And you are watching ITV News here in the West Country. Thanks very much for joining us this evening. Still ahead before half past six tonight.